It's time now for Little Easton Local Sports and Sports. The Wayne County High School football team continues its daily practices as they prepare for the upcoming football season. They've got a scrimmage set for a week from this Friday, hosting the Metro Tigers. Kickoff set for 7.30. There's a $10 admission charge. Also this Saturday, the 912 Sports Media Day, area coaches and players will be at Coastal Pines Technical College to discuss the upcoming season. Fans are invited. There's no cost. The time Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. WIFL fam checked in this week with head football coach J. Bo Shaw after practice. Talks about the upcoming season and also about 912 Sports Media Day. Here, Coach J. Bo Show on a Monday, five days a week now. Is this winding down August 4th? The scrimmage, just, it'll be here before you know it. Yeah, just now that we're in the acclimation practice, you know, the urgency that we're just continuing to, like today, first day of acclimation practice, just the urgency needs to reflect we play next week. And I think they've done a good job of it. And I think we're getting closer. You know, we got a core values of still just flying around playing with great effort, competing, composure, the discipline side of things. You know, that's the stuff we've got to continue to hammer away now that we've got some days. we still got a few days before we get started, but it's on us, and, and I'm certainly excited to uh, to get into back into JC for the scrimmage uh, next Friday night. Some big events coming up. Big one this Saturday. Uh, you'll be on hand at Coastal Pines with several of your players. 912 Sports Media Day, always a fun event to see the coaches and players preview the season. Season. Get any idea who you're taking? Yeah, you know, one, I, I think this is a great event uh, with the media day and being able to showcase, you know, our program and being able to, I take great uh, gratitude and a lot of uh, thankfulness of being able to stand up there on a the podium and represent Wayne County. And, uh, you know, I know our guys are going to do that as well. But I think it's a great event. You know, again, it's just another event that says it's here. Um, but I'm going to take Jeb Craven. He'll be with us. Uh, Tavion Wallace, uh, Judson Holly, Matthew Fuller, Hampton McElwain, Coleman Palmer, Jacques Vale, Griffin Phelps, and uh, Ja Ross. Um, you know, those guys will come with me. And, um, you know, it's we're hosting it, so to speak, here in, here in Jessup. So we're going to make sure we're we're going to be full and, and deep up there on that podium and on that stage. You mentioned Jeb Craven, your young quarterback. Like everybody knows he got hurt last year, torn ACL, but he's back. Um, how would you rate his progress and what have you seen in him this, so far? Uh, night and day, just from you know where he was last year, the last week of taking snaps before he got hurt to where he is today. I don't know, uh, you know, there's a huge growth, you know, with him just one getting older, but just how easy it comes to him as far as uh, processing the game, what we're trying to do on offense, getting us in the right play, the right protection. That's not, that's not easy to do. And, and a lot of people don't see that in the communication of what happens before pre-snap, before the ball's ever snapped, and then he's got to execute it. Um, he's done, he's done a great job, and I asked him to do a lot. I've always put it on a. Our quarterbacks, um, you know, they're, they're the operator. They're another coach on the field, and I'm going to put a lot on their plate, and he has certainly done a really, really good job to this point of managing our offense and executing and everything that I want in a quarterback. He is certainly doing it. You mentioned the numbers are out in the defense, looking at the defensive practices. A lot of seniors out there on that yeah. defensive side of the ball. And Nothing like experience. Uh, man, when you thought of, when you think about it, uh, me and the defensive staff uh, were talking one day last week when we were meeting over personnel, man. Just, I think that helps you depth-wise as well because we've got backups that are seniors that played in backup roles last year. So, you know, when you start talking about your backups have experience on Friday nights and you're able to play 13, 14, 15 guys, 16 guys on defense throughout a whole night. Being able to play, for example, our defensive line. You know, most of the time we play with three D linemen. You know, we're going to be able to play almost seven defensive linemen on a Friday night. And uh, the same goes for a linebacker. And uh, the one spot where we're trying to create more depth is in the back end from losing two seniors from last year. But, you know, Coach Crush and the defense staff's done a great job of putting our guys in spots to be successful. And I think we've done a really good job of developing. But, you know, there's nothing like experience. You, can't, you, you can teach it and try and simulate it and all you want. Uh, but the experience is invaluable. And, you know, I, tell, I talk about the quarterbacks. You know, me and Jeb talk about it a lot of time. I think it correlates to a lot of positions. But sometimes you just need to be in the fight and be in the fire, and whether it goes bad or good, the only way to learn and is to have that experience. And sometimes you got to just go through it. And I can preach and 
and teach it as much as I want to, but man, you got to be able to go through it and learn it. And we've certainly got the depth and experience uh, that our guys have been through for us to be successful. Okay, Coach, thanks a lot. We'll see you Saturday. Thanks, Bob, for being out here, man. I appreciate it. You know, once again, those comments ahead for football coach Jay Shaw again. Practices go Monday through Friday up until the scrimmage next Friday, August 4th. And once again, the 912 Sports Media Day set for this Saturday at Coastal Pines Technical College, 9 to 12 a.m. Again, the public's invited to that event. Wayne County Touchdown Club hosting their annual barbecue kickoff on Friday, August the 11th at the High School Commons area. Tickets will be sold at the door the night of the event. They'll be $15. The event gets underway at 6 p.m. First meeting of the Touchdown Club set for Tuesday, August 15th at Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant. The night begins at 7 p.m. Everyone's invited to join the Touchdown Club. Membership with meals this year, $175. Atlanta Braves close out the two-game set with Boston tonight in Boston. Red Sox won last night by a score of 7-1. First pitch tonight, 7-10. All the action right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. History made last night's game. The Braves have had a triple play, which is only the second of its type in Major League Baseball history. The first occurred back in 1884. The play, a fly ball to short center field for the first out, a throw to first base to get an out as the runner doesn't get back. Then a throw to third for a third out, an 8-3-5 triple play again occurred in the game last night in the third inning. Again, that's the only second time in Major League Baseball history that that type of triple play has been turned. Again, the first one occurred back in 1884. NFL camps opening up all around the NFL and the position to play this year as quarterback is a salary asking price now $40 million per season. Latest quarterback to cash in, LA, LA Chargers. Justin Herbert signs a five year, $262 million deal. Cincinnati's Joe Burrow will be next, and Kansas City's Patrick, Patrick Mahomes will be asking for an extension as well. At the beginning of the season, they'll have at least eight NFL quarterbacks making $40 plus million plus a year to play quarterback in the NFL. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.